Hi guys and girls, it's Team Massive Joe's sponsored athlete, Asha Colfard. I'm here with episode number five, Keeping Up With Asha, a fitness models journal. So I'm currently at Peak Week, which is really, really exciting. Exciting! I'm so grateful for all your support helping me get here today. So it's Thursday here today, so I'm shooting on Thursdays. So I'm currently pretty much a day and a half out from the Amanda Doherty All Female Classic which is happening on July the 5th, which is Saturday in Melbourne. So I'm really excited to be leaving tomorrow to go to Melbourne. I hope the weather's beautiful in Melbourne. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it hasn't been very good here. Yeah, so I fly to Melbourne tomorrow. So pretty much this week, I've just been trying to maintain what I have, because I'm quite happy with how my progress has been. So I haven't cut calories and I haven't increased my cardio this week, so everything's being pretty much the same. So just trying to maintain everything and just tighten things up a little bit um, this week as well. Uh, just to get ready for Saturday. So I have everything else ready. My bikinis are ready, which are from Glam Fit, Fit Bikinis. So Glam Fit Bikinis actually gave me two bikinis to choose from. So I'm really excited. They've given me a tough choice to do. Um, but I think I've decided on the colour, so I'm really excited to show you my bikini. Uh, hair extensions, I have all been freshened up, so I'm th thankful for my sponsors at Show Off Hair and Beauty for doing that for me late the other night. And also had my colour done today, so that was really great uh, by Colour Bar. And I'm pretty much all ready to go for Saturday. So this week I trained um, a leg workout with the boys at Team Massive Joe's. So I trained with Joel and Joe. So I'm really excited to bring that workout video to you. I had a few questions and answers to get through this week as well. So we'll just run through those. I had one from Kate and she asked me, I must have mentioned in one of my videos that I was lifting a little bit lighter than what I normally would in my off season. So she was just curious to why I was doing that. Uh, the main point of this is it's because I'm eating in a calorie deficit at the moment. So I'm not feeling as strong as I would if I was eating above or at my maintenance calorie level. So I'm feeling yeah a little bit weaker. I'm still quite strong and I'm pushing through all my workouts to my full potential, but still not lifting as heavy as I was. And yeah, I guess it's just the energy levels as well. So just from the diet, um, the cardio, the late nights and the early mornings at the moment uh, puts a lot of stress on your body. So uh, not having that energy to push through those workouts at your maximum potential uh, is also a factor. <laughs> that comes with comp preps, I guess. Another question I had was uh, regarding the time that I'll be on stage. So actually I've had a whole handful of people ask me this. I don't actually know when I'm gonna be on stage. I know that we're gonna be there, at, the comp starts at 12, and we're gonna be there a little bit earlier doing a competition uh, meeting, so. I shall let you know as soon as I know and I'll make sure I post it on Instagram as well as Facebook just so you'll know and uh, keep you up, I'll keep you up to date as best as I can throughout the day. I'm so excited to be back on stage and I'm uh, really excited that I was able to do this prep in six weeks. Uh, people, another question was, um, people keep asking me what my next move is after this competition. So obviously that's something that I have to look into once I've competed to see how things panned out, to see how my body reacted to the six week prep. If it was fine and if I was happy with it and if the judges are happy with it, then I will look at how many weeks I'm gonna do for obviously state and the nationals. So yeah, that's what, they're, the, they're the obviously two next competitions is state and nationals, but prep wise, I'm not sure what my next move is or, how I'm going to shock my body next. So I'll keep you all informed and up to date, obviously through my videos and every other social media. But anyway, let's get to this uh, leg workout and I hope you all love it as much as I love training with these boys. It was really great, they pushed me to my limits. So yeah, it was really exciting. Let's get to it. 
So here we are with my leg workout. So I'm training with uh, Joel and Joe in this workout. So they helped me push myself to those next levels, which was a really great leading up to comp. So we started off with squats. I did 10 to 12 reps uh, with this exercise and started off by doing two warm up sets, increasing the weight and doing three working sets after that. So the main muscle in this exercise is the quads. Other muscles are calves, glutes, hamstrings, and of course the lower back. So remember to put your safety rails up and maintain your straight back. So you could, you notice that I was actually, um, I didn't go all the way down. This was just due to my ITB injury. So your, your knees should uh, come down slightly less than 90 degrees. Uh, moving on to the next exercise. So this is the leg press machine. So I did 20 reps on this, two warm up sets and three working sets, increasing the weight each, each set. So the feet are low on this. We did this just to target the quads. So just to isolate the quads and take the hamstrings and the glutes out of it. I uh, remember to keep tension on, on your legs at all time and increase the weight each set. So the next exercise we move on to is uh, barbell lunges. So we did this in um, the group fitness rooms. This is at Genesis Glenelg. So they have some really great, amazing big rooms there uh, for a 24 hour gym that's really, really rare to have. So we did the length of the room and back and we did three sets of these. So I had to do a lot more steps than the boys had to do because I have little legs, so it was a bigger workout for me. <laughs> uh, this targets the quads, glutes and hamstrings. The Probably the main point with this one is to make sure you keep your back up straight uh, and don't let your knee overextend your toe and to use the heel of your foot to push back up. So they're the main points um, that you have to remember with doing lunges. Remembering to uh, brace your core as, as well with every exercise you do. So I had a question regarding that, uh, do I do an ab workout? I don't actually do an ab workout every week. Uh, you brace your core with every workout you do, so um, that, that's how I gain muscle, uh, most of my muscle strength in my core. Moving on to the next exercise, um, we did front squats. So this is back in uh, the squat rack. So we did two warm up sets again and three working sets. So the working sets were at the rep range of 10 to 12. So this one targets the quads, glutes, hamstrings as well. So most of these exercises target those um, main muscles. Main point is to remember to keep your elbows nice and high, just to rest the bar on top of your delts and to keep your posture nice and straight and don't let your knees overextend your toes as well. So bend down until your uh, upper leg and calves become slightly less than 90 degrees and then exhale as you, as you push up, um, mainly using the middle of your foot to do this and then again increase the weight each set. So moving on to the last exercise, so this is a leg extension machine. So this one targets the quads, so it's an isolation exercise. So what you do is you just extend the legs to the maximum as you exhale. Uh, your body should stay still. As you can see here, I'm doing a rest pause. So I repped out, I think it was six reps, and then I rest for about 10, 10, five to 10 seconds, and then continue on with the exercise. So this is just another way of shocking the body. Uh, just to remember, um, as your legs reach the top, just to contract and pause um, the muscles as well, just to get that maximum, maximum uh, effort from that exercise. Then lower the weight back down and again, increase the weight each set. Or if you have someone that can help you rep out those extra reps and do that also. And here I am doing some posing in the middle of the gym. Uh, <laughs> I'm just throwing some poses in there just to give you a little bit of an insight of what's going to be happening this week, this weekend. So yeah, that's me just throwing it out there in the gym. Thanks for watching my uh, leg workout. I hope you all loved it and I hope you all take it into the gym and give it a go. 
So you're not to do, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the MassiveJoes.com YouTube videos and all the Keeping Up With Asha a Fitness Models Journal YouTube videos. They will be coming to you throughout the, the rest of the prep as well, so I'll make sure I get some great footage from the Amanda Doherty All Female Classics, so look out for that next video. So yeah, you're not to do, hit the subscribe button, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com.